kind of a tongue twister, but uh, check it out. In fact, I was, when I, as soon as I saw Johnny the, day, the other day, I thought to myself, we should sing this at Icky Con. We're not going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, the song, did, did you just hear what I just said? <laughs> you know, I don't even know what I did for that song. That, I sang it like six times or whatever, and then I had, a bit, I had to go like, okay, this word works, so I, I, I edited everything. I was like, uh, uh, it does a really crappy edit job, too, because I sent it in. He was like, what'd you do? <laughs> Oh, by the way, the song first the song was the first Noel. Um, it's a real pretty yeah. And, and what was cool is, if you guys know, I play the piano and keyboards, and Johnny plays guitar. So when I arranged, I kind of arranged the song and put all the music together, and then sent Johnny a rough track to do a vocal to. But I left certain segments open for Johnny to play guitar. And then I would do certain segments where the where the keyboard, the piano would be fo would be uh, featured. So it was kind of like not only Johnny and I vocally as a duet, but kind of instrumentally with the piano and guitar kind of thing. And it really and he he laid down some electric tracks, and it really turned out good. I think you guys are really going to kick out of it. So thanks for asking about that. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. Uh, yes, Bios and F. single email or I might not poke everyone back like oh I wish they would remove the poke feature. 
Um, and, uh, and, and it's fine. I totally don't mind interacting with people and occasionally like I'll, you know, I'll sit and just answer a bunch of email, but um, I'm like my brother and like so many other people, I'm about to get rid of my MySpace just because, and it's sad because I know there's just still a great number of people that only use MySpace, but I don't check it anymore. So if somebody sent me a message that was really important, I may get it like a month late. So it's just really not fair. And, uh, and I also have a website, but it hasn't been updated in four years. So maybe I'll do that sometime this year, who knows. Yeah, that should be my biggest resolution, update my website. Yeah, I think it says, Greg Harris, 2005 con sketch, well. Mine updates very regularly, usually within a week after con. I'll do an update. Um, I have a MySpace. I do not have a Facebook. Mm. <laughs> you know what? Actually, the, the thing is, is I was there was I was on Facebook and MySpace before I was really on those. Somebody else was pretending to be me. That's actually why I did the uh, MySpace thing. And I do check it. I just can't keep up with the. I, uh, I have a MySpace that some fans created, and it says at the very top, don't leave messages for Vic here and expect you to get a response because this is kind of fan administrated. Um, and I used to check it occasionally and go on there and leave messages for people, but then um, I got a Facebook, and that is, as like with Caitlin, it's, uh, it's for, um, you know, for like family and, and coworkers and, and stuff like that. I mean, there are plenty of other ways to reach to me, to reach me and, and uh, but Facebook, I mean, like, I, I just couldn't, I couldn't possibly keep up. I couldn't keep up with it. It would be physically impossible. So when people write me, I often write it back and say, you know, I appreciate the request. I, I don't want you to think that I'm ignoring your request, but it is just for, like, you know, closer, closer family and friends. But with websites and emails and stuff, there are certainly plenty of ways to, to reach us if you'd like to. Um, yeah, I've, I picked somebody last time. So, Johnny, you want to pick somebody? Or somebody down there want to pick somebody? <laughs> when Disney does the new Wonder or Kyle Miyazaki dogs, they always get a whole bunch of big names that they used to do with all the voices as opposed to guys like you. What's your opinion on that? Well, they're so much more talented than we are. I think that it's only fair. <laughs> <favorite. laughs> I think that, uh, and I don't want to badmouth Disney or Miyazaki in, in any way, but what you have to remember is. It's a business, just like Funimation is a business, ADV is a business, Bang Zoom and Viz are all businesses. And two, Miyazaki movies are marketed to be something that the general public would want to go see, just like you go and see The Princess and the Frog or any Disney American-made animation. So the best way to do that is to put names on there that people recognize. Do I think that Miley Cyrus' little brother needs to be a voice? No, I do not. I, or any of the Jonas Brothers? No, I do not. If they want to put Kate Blanchett in a movie, go for it. She's fantastic. But, uh, you know, so it stinks. It really does. And I've uh, spoken with Japanese voice actors. They do some of the same things to them. Uh, they're, uh, just like, um, you know, Will Dub Miyazaki, they'll dub Disney over there. And uh, I know some people who have been voice actors in Japan for ages and ages. I know the voice of Donald Duck and, and, and things like that. But they'll do the same thing. They'll find like a Japanese pop star, Japanese movie star to be the lead in this or that. Whether it's animated or just an American television show being dubbed into Japanese. They do the same thing. Because it, it's a, an industry. It's a business. They have to make money. Another thing that ties into that is that there is still this perception. Sorry. There is still this perception that, that anime is for children, uh, that, that runs through a lot of businesses. And they're like, well, if we're gonna get the, you know, the kids will come see it because it's animated. Um, if we're gonna get the parents to come, we have to have names that they will recognize. And you have to remember, it, it's very deceptive when you're here at a convention. It seems like the whole world loves anime, and everybody knows who we are. And really, anime is a very tiny niche industry. And 90% of the people, 90 to 100% of the people out there have no idea who any of us are. Oh! I think this was this early. Um, but um, most people don't, don't know who we are. And our names would not draw a large enough audience.